Okay, well, thanks for having me. My name is Anna. I'm. Is the microphone Hi. working? So, but it's not turned on? Okay. Um, my name is Anna. I'm a PhD candidate at the uh, Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich. And I'm based at the IFO Institute at the Center for um, Climate, Energy, and Natural Resources. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> My talk's titled uh, uh, Julia A. Major um, Programming Language and Economic Research? Question mark. Um, so it's a very, uh, because I'm the only um, economist in my department who uses Julia, I thought that this uh, could be a very general talk about uh, the potential of Julia being used for economic research. Um, I come from MATLAB, I've used Julia since version number um, three. And starting to work with Julia, I really had the feeling that I was standing on the shoulders of a very um, resourceful community. So thank you for that. I think I'm just a happy user, and I'm just grateful that Julia is actually there. So I was going to talk about how I use Julia for my own research. I'm um, yeah, an environmental economist, and my PhD is really about how economic growth drives uh, carbon emissions and therefore drives future climate change. So I work with integrated assessment models. Um, these are computer models which um, combine a um, climate model with a socio-economic component, and the socio-economic component usually consists of a growth model. However, in the literature, unfortunately, it's usually relatively unclear how this uh, growth model is calibrated, and that's where my own research sets in. So my work is about how can I um, calibrate economic growth in a very transparent way, and I calibrate um, deterministic models of growth with a Bayesian approach in order to derive um, some statistical properties from the model. So I started using Julia because, well, it's fun mostly when those packages which, which I happen to use have a proper documentation. So for me, it's very painful to uh, use packages which don't have a proper documentation, and then I have to go and read the code in order to understand what the package really does. So that, for someone who doesn't have computational or a computer science background, is something that's well painful. Um, it's fast, of course. That's been um, mentioned numerous times throughout this uh, conference. But what, to me, ha is also a very big um, advantage is that it's very um, functional. It combines a big variety of different functionalities and packages uh, coming from MATLAB. For me, that was a big advantage. And then, of course, it's freeware. So I can, as a researcher, I can maintain my own um, independency. OK, so um, I calibrate my growth model using Julia. Um, I do that using a Monte Carlo approach. So basically, what I do is I assume that uh, the difference between my simulated data and my observed data is described in a stochastic model and an autoregressive process, and I can derive the joint um, or I can derive the likelihood functions from these processes using Bayes' law. But then there's no analytical solution to Bayes' law, so I draw a representative sample from this distribution, a so-called Markov chain, and then I use this Markov chain in a Monte Carlo analysis to derive confidence intervals of future growth and consumption shares. And then I can use this Mark, uh, Monte Carlo analysis, plug it into um, the uh, integrated assessment model, and see how um, growth or different growth trajectories affect future climate damages, basically. Um, from the technical side, I use the Clara package um, for the MCMC procedure, and then I uh, discretize my uh, ODEs from the growth model and use jump uh, to solve, a big uh, to solve this as a big system of uh, nonlinear equations. And yesterday I learned that I really should have used the um, differential equations package in Julia. That would probably have been much smarter. So when I'm back in Germany, I'm going to do that. And yeah, I was going to show you some results. That's not possibly possible, unfortunately, today. So yeah, we find that with our procedure, all parameters are well, well identified. We are able to match GDP and also consumption shares. And we can do this all in Julia, and we can do it very fast. So I'm very happy about that. And yeah, to conclude, I wanted to make one remark. So as I said, I'm the only economist in my department who actually uses Julia, which is sad, because I think Julia has a very big potential, also for people who just want to use it as a tool to solve their own problems. But if I want to solve a problem, that what matters is the time it takes to solve the problem. And that does not, is not only consistent of the time it takes to run the code, but also the time it takes to actually write the code. And 
if there's no proper documentation, then that's a bit of a problem for people like me. And also, I'm really looking forward to the first stable version of Julia because whenever there's a version update, I have to write, a, I have to change all my codes, and that's also a lot of work. And I'm going to submit my thesis in a few months, and I just didn't do any updates anymore for a few months because I'm just afraid that my code is going to crash. So I won't do that. Um, anyway, I think Julia is great, and I think it should be used more often also in economic research. So thank you very much. <laughs>